So the way we handle the way we handle these focal infections that people are looking to clean out root canals or possibly diseased tissues in the bone, what we're doing is we're anesthetizing the patient, we're using a buffered anesthetic, and they have profound anesthesia. Once the area is um, evaluated, we, we, open the, we open that particular area, we use a piezo instrument which uses water and vibration to disrupt the dead tissue. Uh, it, the water usually um, debrides the wound and we continue doing that with hand instrumentation. We flood the area with ozonated water and we also hit the area with uh, ozone gas which starts cleaning by killing bacteria. It also opens up blood vessels which helps for bone growth. Um, once that's done and we feel that we're getting a nice site that's clean, we will put our plasma-rich growth factors in there and, and secure them with sutures. Once the platelets are placed in the suture, um, the sutures keep it in place and that it's not disturbed any longer. Uh, the, the body sort of takes over and the body wants bone, healthy bone there. So within eight to eight weeks to three months, we have a usually a nice solid piece of bone either to put a partial denture or put an implant in and reversing that, that chronic uh, focal infection is the key. How do we treat these infections in the bone? We anesthetize patients, we try to set them up for good healing and hopefully again that they have practitioners that are giving them the right nutrition recommendations. So we need vitamin K2, we need D3, we need boron, calcium, we need all the myriad of minerals for bone health to be on board. Some people are talking about that being about four weeks before. There are different products we're recommending for that. K2 in particular is really important for bone health, or for bone growth. So let's say the, the scene is set for that. They come in, we, do, we evaluate with a CD, with a 3D, uh, and we've, we see where the extent of the, the ischemic bone is. In our office, we're doing a blood draw so we can get the patient's platelets and their growth factors. With, the, with that biological band-aid that we form, we'll utilize that in the end of the surgery. So once, once we do the blood draw, we get the platelets, um, it's processed and waiting. We remove the tooth or the section where we feel like the bone, ischemic bone is. We use ozone water, ozone gas, which can be explained in another video, but for all intents and purposes, ozone is very reactive and kills anaerobic bacteria. It enhances blood flow, um, helps the, the wound heal by creating bleeding, and it disinfects the site. We remove this, this sick bone, and then we replace it with the platelets, um, and we suture. So the plasma-rich growth factors uh, they're using a lot in, in rejuvenation now in the skin and they use it in orthopedic surgery for joint replacements and things like that. It has uh, platelets that release growth factors over time and we also isolate the small amount of growth factors that are right above the white cells. And we, we feel that over seven to 10 days or longer, their growth factors are being released to, to stimulate uh, blood vessel formation which then, which is called angiogenesis. And following that blood vessel formation is new bone growth. So this is how we're feeling that we're healing things quickly. And it does heal probably three times faster um, using that plasma and setting the scene right.